Hey bot builders, I'm Gordy from BotPress and we are back with another bot built using the amazing generative AI features of the new BotPress cloud. In this bot, I've already built it and I want to show you guys how we can set the user language in three different ways. BotPress bots are very multilingual. We utilize the entire range of ChatGPT to translate languages from one to another. I believe there's a list of around 90 to 120 or so different languages that ChatGPT supports and then so BotPress will also support. And this bot will show you three different ways you can set one of those languages to be the language of conversation. Let's jump right in. So this bot over here, I'll go ahead and say hello. There are three different choices and three different flows for the three different ways that we can set the user language. I'm going to start with the easiest and that's the hard coded language. So this bot will be hard coded to only speak French. So if I start out with English, the bot will still speak French. Now that little translation pause that you see here in the emulator is one of the debugging tools that's here in the emulator only. If your bot is on web chat or Telegram or WhatsApp, the user will only see that ended uh, that end result of the translated language. It won't see that short pause while things are translated from the back end. So this works. I talk to the bot in English. It replies in French. I can speak in French. Uh, il aime manger les poissons. Um, pardon my horrible French, but there we go. So no matter what language we speak, the chatbot will always be replying back in French. Let's look under the hood. So this flow has only one little node to set the language. And then this node over here just does the chat GPT part. Uh, we tell the AI to make polite small talk and give the chat history and well, that's it. Between that though, is this little execute code card to set the language and it's very easy. We set this variable user.translatoragent.language to the two digit language code for French in this case. If I wanted Spanish, I could say yes, and now the bot will only speak Spanish. These two-digit language codes, you can find them on Google or Wikipedia. There's one for really every language in the world, and you just set this variable to that two-digit language code, and now your bot will only speak that language, no matter what the end user will say. Let's move on to the next one, and in this flow, the user is able to choose what language by pressing a button. Very similar to hard coding the language, except instead of us, the developer, deciding what language, it is the end user picking what language they want. We've got a nice little single choice here with emoji buttons, and that is really one of my favorite ways to do language selection in a bot, is with these nice little emojis. That way, if your bot starts out in English and say, I only speak Chinese and I don't understand any English, I see the little emoji flag and I can say, hey, I'm going to pick that. I'll go ahead and pick Spanish this time, and now the bot should only speak Spanish. I'll go through the same things. I'll say, can you help me come up with a name for my cat? It comes back to Spanish. I will speak in French. It comes back in Spanish. Ooh, Nemo or Sushi. Good names. And that is how we can get the user to choose their own language. Under the hood, it's very similar. We have that same kind of execute code card for setting the language, except this time it will take the result of the choice skill, for whether it's the emoji for English, French, Spanish, whatever, and then set our translator agent dot language variable to the appropriate language. The single choice skill before this is really nothing special. We ask a, a question, we have our choices. We don't even save the uh, user input because we just use event.preview for that. So it's extremely simple and a very effective way to ask the user to change the conversation language at the very beginning of the conversation. What happens if we want to automatically find the user's language and set the bot to speak that language without the user needing to press any buttons or the developer to change any code? For this, we have a flow called change language automatic. There we go. And we will need to modify the translator agent's settings. So there's a configuration to automatically detect user language, which we will need, and to detect the language at every turn. This means with every message the user sends, 
the bot will look at that message and that message only to see what language the user is speaking. With those set and saved, we'll be able to say hello and start talking to our bot. I'll start off with some Chinese, asking the same question to help us name our cat. And now the bot is answering us in Chinese. I'll switch then to French. I'll say, Il aime manger les poissons. He likes to eat fish. And now it should say something in French. Well, it asks how it could help me in French, but the point is that it was talking in French. And this is a great way to change language with the user rather than making the user go through extra work to specifically change a language as they need it. If we go into the flow, we'll see that it's very simple. There's no execute code cards or anything like that. We just have our initial greeting because we need the user to say something in their language to get that language. So the bot has to speak first. And then we have our normal uh, small talk node with the AI asking like chat GPT and given the conversation history as input. So just with those little nodes and our translation configuration, we are able to automatically change language with the user to any of the hundred languages or so that ChatGPT supports. This bot will be available for download from our Discord server. And if you're not already in our Discord server, you're welcome to join. That's where I and a bunch of other bot builders hang out and help each other with bot press and just general bot building questions. So if you're not on our Discord, I encourage you to come check us out. And that's where you'll be able to find this bot for download. I hope you guys learned something and this bot was helpful for you guys. And happy bot building. I'll see you next time. Bye.